I hope you are all having a good last day of the five day long play session. If you're not in the alpha yet, don't despair because Rare stated that everybody will be able to test the game by the end of this year. I am Veggie Vulture and again I wanted to show you guys something very interesting. Although this has been talked about before and most fans already could have guessed it, there will be no safe zones or neutral zones like some like to call them in Sea of Thieves at all. This has been confirmed in the following video. Will there be any safe zones? So, for instance, some places at the outpost islands where players can't attack one. There won't. And we we tried out a lot of things in our prototype um, when we first started the project. Safe zones was one we explored. Um, ultimately, it can be exploited. And of course, there's ways to mitigate it. You can have and the suggestions on the forum of, well, if you do certain things in safe zones, you can have AI patrols that attack you. And But ultimately, the idea of um, being safe in the world, when the whole world is set up specifically around players emergently come across each other and there being enough outposts in the world where you've got a choice of where you turn in your um, voyage rewards, it just does not feel Sea of Thieves of having safe zones. I remember when we tried it in the prototype and Andy and I, Andy and I had actually asked the engineer the day before to put it in and then the next day when we played it without realising it was on even though we'd asked for it the day before it was like what this is so weird what's going on because it just doesn't click that that would be a thing that you would yeah. be shooting someone and they wouldn't take damage so yeah it I think even if didn't we didn't feel natural there's like two right ways to turn the feature on turn it off again yeah. <laughs> there's two ways to do it you've, you've got the mechanical route that I alluded to on the forums where you can change the mechanics to work a different way in the safe zone which completely alien. I mean, that makes no sense in a world where there's no barriers. Um, and then you've got the route where you can do everything you want, but there's penalties for it. And it just, like, ultimately, our game will be richer and more diverse and more interesting if we can create meaningful reasons for players to make those connections where the rules stay the same. Mm -hmm. That somehow you're not going to, you're going to get punished if you go to an outpost, if you behave in a certain way. It should just work the same no matter where you are. Um, that's, that's what we want to do. So the answer yeah. is no. Just, John's just going, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, but good. the thing is there's enough space to have your own adventures and like you only encounter other crews occasionally and like there's enough space to explore islands and mess around on your ship and or choose not to engage in ship battles with others and stuff, mm -hmm. right? It's like... And choose how much risk, you know, how you many chests have you got on board risk. before you go back to an yep. outpost. It's it's all in your hands as a crew. Like the, there are things that happen that take you by surprise, but you've got every power to strategize. And the goal was always to treat it as a... That's part of the feedback from the technical alpha is that looking at it as a level design problem. Like if people are saying there's always people attacking me at the outpost, maybe it's the position of the outpost and how many there are. Yeah. It's looking at it that way and ensure, like ensuring that we achieve the right gameplay, but make people are happy with, ensure people are happy with the balance of um, how much they encounter other people versus being able to progress. Yeah. So. Long rambling answer. I think this is a very bold but very cool move from Rare. At this point, we as gamers are used to at least having some downtime where people are not able to take your stuff and kill you while you are looking the other way. But like they say in the podcast, this just doesn't feel a sea of thieves. I like the idea of having the sense of always having to look to the horizon for people who might just want to take your belongings or just going out on the sea looking for ships to raid. What do you think about that constant feeling of danger? Please let me know in the comments below. As always, I was Veggie Vulture, and I will see you guys on the high seas. All right, <clears throat> seriously, how cool is it that there is a Black Spice Rum called Kraken? <laughs>